see the screen, right, Domenico? You got mm -hmm. in. So Definitely. That's a good time. All right. And um, Suzanne is young, so even if she comes late, she can find a way to enter. So, Lanfranco, you're out again. Did you get in before? Yes. Did you get in? No, you gotta, well, you let your, when your screen turns off, it sometimes keeps you up. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it, you have to kind of, it's a very stupid system, I know. It's very stupid, I know. Okay. Okay. You're in. Oh, this is the heart classes, um, Simone. That's great. No pacifier. I should know. I changed the animal. You changed the animal, now you're like an angry bird. Like a unicorn. Uh, uh, Domenico has like um, Elvis hair today. <laughs> yeah, do you like my hair, dude? Yeah, I like your hair. You've got like this um, bouffant thing going on. Alfonso uh, has like a, it's not quite a cowboy hat. I don't know what that is. A mouse, a mouse, a cowboy hat. No, it's explorers. An explorer hat. Yeah, that's <laughs> You have um, pancakes on your head. I, you know? I have the sugar cake. Yeah, you know, either pancakes with um with it looks to me like pancakes with um, maple yeah maple syrup with, with uh, maple syrup. But she says it looks like a hamburger. Some uh, drops are ketchup. Yeah, maybe. I like that you got like fish face or something. Like it looks like a fish. Okay, well I think we should just get started because. Suzanne's a big girl. She'll find us. She Whenever you are we ready to go? Yep. We are ready. No, no, okay. My, my, What's wrong? My niece, Suzanne, is not here. Suzanne will come in and she'll, she's okay. She knows what to do. So she knows, she knows what to do. She knows that enter. She's number one. She's number one anyway. We'll do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to start. Yep. I put a couple of calls today. U.S. election, but it's it's more generic, okay? It's not just 2024. It's elections in general. Mm. The next presidential election in the United States will be held in 1988, 1988, the next one, right? Okay. Oh. All right, Suzanne says she can't come because she has to work. She should quit working right away. So was everybody right? Oh, okay. No. There was one, 2025. Okay, nobody said 1988. That's my Definitely test question not. to make sure that everybody's with us. Okay. If you have to pay attention or not. You have to make sure you're with us. Okay. Domenico oh, yeah. has the speed on his side. Yeah. Good for you. Okay, Bruna put like 1988. <laughs> no, it's not my, my... your glasses were fogged up. Don't worry, it's, there's time. You'll catch up. What is Super Tuesday? True. When the superheroes vote, the day after the investiture ceremony, the day when most states select their party candidate, or the day of the election of the president? Multiple choice. Oh. Yep. It's the day when most states select their party candidate. Mm -hmm. I know. A little tricky. <laughs> All right. In the USA, elections for president mm, every four years. Was held, is been held, are held, has been held. <laughs> little grammar for you. Elections are held. Grammar they check. Are held in general, right? Mm -hmm. In general, right? So we're going to use the present. Elections. Elections. This are is a held. simple present brush up. Exactly. You know how we got to we got to shake it up a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Domenico, you're on fire. Look at you. Unbelievable. Simone has moved up a space. Simone has to go back to his um. Grammar, see? Yeah. That's okay, but there's something here for everyone. Well, I know that, that um, Bruna just finished her English class, so this is all very fresh in her mind. U.S. elections are decided by the popular vote, the individual states. Well done. We all know. 
Nobody, oh, Domenico, you have an answer streak of four. This is too easy for you. An outgoing president is referred to as a lame duck. True or false? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, you can't no. invent that stuff, right? See, it's true. You just said that I'm on fire now and lost. Oh, really? I just, you didn't know that? So yeah. when, we, when we talk no. about a lame duck president, it's a president who doesn't have that much power because they've already been kind of voted out because you vote for the president okay. in November, but the new president doesn't start until January. So in that time, there's, you know, not much happens. Still on top, but then Franco is catching up. Lam Franco is working on it. Bruna's on fire. She's had three correct answers. Even her little fish face is smiling. What's going on with Simone? Does he have a happy face or a sad face? It's yeah, that's, that's face. Happy face, that's always. Face. What is an air war? Hmm. A battle for radio, TV, and social media coverage? A presidential poll? Uh, a fist fight at the, um, between politicians? Or a newsletter sent by traditional mail? Sorry for the typo on fist fight. Right. Oh, so an air okay. war is that battle between the um, the politicians to get enough coverage in the different types of media. Lanfranco is now on fire. Streak of three correct answers in a row. Well done. I, 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 me too, but... A state with an even number of Democratic and Republican voters. Is it a red state, a blue state, a green state, or a purple state? Oh. Question. There are Republicans and Democrats. It's not a re you know, it's not a mostly Democratic or mostly. I'm a multiple choice. Sir. No, just one. Oh, oh make yeah. a mistake. Uh, so no, it's I'm not. It should sport. be just one. <laughs> so, what's seems... the correct one? Oh, the God, I, oh well, me? that's a mistake. Agree. Anyway. I, I, I choose the red. It should be a purple state. A purple, so that's my mistake. not green. I think a purple state. Okay. No, no. They say it means I made a mistake. Sorry. <laughs> so it should be a purple state. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But if you put anything, you probably got points, yeah. even if you got it wrong, because I made a mistake. Oh. Yeah. Because a democratic state is what color? Democratic state is a blue state. A blue state. Democratic. Democratic. A red state would be Republican. Purple state? In the middle. In the middle. There's no green state. Red and blue. Red and blue, great screen. Nice try. Nice try. Oh, look at you, Simona. You have the highest answer streak of four. Well done. Okay. What is a running mate? <laughs> what is a running mate? A friend who runs with you or an election candidate for a lower associated political office? The most plausible of the two. Let's see. Right. Okay. Right. So interesting. It's so so right now, um, President or not President Trump, ex President Trump. Uh, who will probably be, we don't know yet, but he will, right now, he's in the lead. So he's already thinking about who he wants to have as his running mate. So his running mate would be the person who would become... Vice president. Vice president, right? Um, okay. But it's also true that a running mate is, I learned this today, um, a running mate, when you have a horse race, They'll put the, the favorite horse, they'll have a second horse in the race just to set the pace. Mm -hmm. It's the pacer. Didn't know that. That's why I put the horses. Notice? Ooh, ah. <laughs> but only for the vice president or for any other? Uh, well, I don't role? know. When, you know, I mean, they, they have a loose definition of it, but we normally hear it when we talk about the president and the vice president. But yeah. according to the definition that I read, it could be other things as well, but I've never heard it used that way. And for horses. Domenico is still on fire. Mm -hmm. Big government is a positive term. True or false? 
<laughs> it depends. It depends. It depends, right? No, it doesn't depend. Yes. Okay. Big government is only used in negative, um, in negative mm -hmm. terms. So, who uses the term big government? Who prefers a smaller government? Who right. prefers Democrats or Republicans? Republicans. Right. Right. So, exactly. So, Republicans use the term big government in a negative way because they prefer to have a smaller central government and have the government in the different states have more power. Republicans prefer yeah. that. Now, Democrats prefer to have um, things more centralized, but they would never use the word big government because big government has a negative connotation. Right. Okay? Yes, the public government prefers the uh, federation uh, system and the democratic republic. Right. Uh, well, you know, the, it's not like they, they prefer and they don't want a better, um, but they just want. They like things to be in a more central position, and the, uh, the Republicans prefer to have power distributed throughout the states in, a, in that way, okay? But when you hear big government, it's usually used by Republicans in uh, a negative light. The, and the Democrats don't use it. They don't use it. Because, uh, generally speaking, it's, it's a better... It's a better uh, the nomination of state. Exactly. So, okay. So it's exactly. just so when you hear it, it's going to probably be um, in that in a negative term. Uh, thanks. Okay. Oh, look at you, Simone. Six correct answers in a row. It's a miracle. <laughs> Our baby's grown up. <laughs> yeah. Presidential. Mm, our televised discussions about policies and ideas. Presidential elections. Midterms, debates, or primaries? Yeah. Debates. It's true. Presidential debates are televised discussions. They're talking, right? Remember that discussion in English is not a negative term. It's not like discussion. It's like conversation. It can be negative, but it's usually, um, it can be serious, but it's not necessarily a fight or something. Oh. Oh, look at okay, that. Seven on top. correct answers in a row. Domenico still in first with a big smile on that little monkey mm -hmm. face. Yeah, definitely. Or whatever that is. Are you a frog? I don't know what you are. You're green. Uh, you I, think, I think a little dragon. A dragon or some kind yep. of an amphibian. I don't know. Yeah. So Aiden a right. is a candidate who is ahead in the polls. A hot date, a tricky dicky, <laughs> a near winner, or a front runner. I don't know. No. Ooh. A front runner. Did you get it right, Simone? Yeah, You're just right. getting all the right I, stuff. From I think from the meaning of these two words, I suppose that it's uh, and you made right. it. Sure. So who is tricky dicky? Me. I really I don't know what it means, but I really like the word tricky. It's dicky. great, tricky dicky. It was a nickname for President Nixon when he was running for president. Ah, uh, because it okay. He's supposed to be tricky a little bit. Right. When he was running, was already tricky. Ah, okay. Well, I don't know what it refers to, but apparently he had this reputation, and that so uh -huh. tricky dicky. That he confirmed his... after so. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, Simone now has eight correct answers in a row. Oh, my goodness. Who is the incumbent in the 2024 elections? Is it Kamala Harris, Donald Trump, Nikki Haley, Joe Biden? Yeah, Joe Biden. Right. So the incumbent is the person who is president now and who will will run again, okay? So Joe Biden is the president. He's the incumbent president. I don't know what That's okay. Is, so I will. It's... <laughs> Donald Trump was the incumbent last time. Lampranc was on fire three in a row. He's back in the game. Bruno, how are you? You're, you're, you're crying for Suzanne. You want Suzanne back. <laughs> Presidential primary elections and caucuses help states and parties choose 
presidential nominees, true or false? It's but, true. But I'm sorry, but it happens with our Congress. The, uh, and it's not perfectly clear. It, it's yeah, I didn't, I didn't, you know, but but they're part of things. Each state has their own caucuses, meetings, and conferences, and elections. It can be elections or caucuses. There are, yeah, but there are. I don't want to have caucuses in California elections. Right, yeah. or both. Or, or, or both, both, yeah. One part of caucuses, the other part of In any case, they're both meant to do the same thing, which is to help a party decide who they want to nominate. Okay? Um, but I like the sign, the best the man time. for this job is a woman. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lanfranco has a high, a streak of four, but Domenico must be just, he's got his, his hand right in the button. He's got the fastest yeah. phone. Um, Presidential primaries. Budget. Six to nine months before election, differ from state to state, can be closed or open. Multiple choice. Anonymous, yeah. yes, multiple choice. Anonymous with secret ballots. You know how I operate. This is a very typical Caroline question. Yes, all of them are correct. Okay. You always so, trick me on these. Always, That's my always. You know how I am. It's when I want to put a lot of information no, no, no. in one's life. But anonymous secret ballots, or not that it's not very well. Huh? Not that anonymous with secret ballots. Yeah. But not that it's well. For example, in Iowa, they split the people. They, they are all in a, in a room. The, for one candidate uh, in the right corner, for other candidate is a relief corner. It's not anonymous, no? In Iowa. In others, it's going down. Well, they say that the primary yes. normally, oh, I don't know. I've never heard of that situation, but according to my place, <laughs> presidential primaries, the, what, the one that's interesting here is, okay, yes, it's going to happen six to nine months before the election. It's different from state to state. We know that. What's interesting is what closed or open means. Do you understand what that means? Yes. yes. What does it mean? Uh, same, same that, same thing. Uh, the primary are, op op uh, are open. To what? For example, Explain. Uh, for example, there are a democ and the democratic prima prima uh, prima primary, primary, and can vote, can vote the democratic and but, but the independence, independence and the Republican are to. Okay, so that would be so an open election is when anybody can vote. A closed one means you have to be registered to that right. particular. Registered, right? So you have to be a registered Democrat or registered Republican. That would be a closed one. Okay. <clears throat> Streak of five, Lanfranco. Well done, Domenico. Still in first, so you got to catch up to him. The GOP or Republican Party has already chosen a pres presidential nominee as of today. Uh, 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 uh. It's false. Yeah. Oh. In fact, do you know what city this is? Can you guess what city this is? This is, uh, this is Chicago. This is Chicago. Why did I put a picture of Chicago here? Of course, the Democratic Convention, the next Democratic Convention will be held in Chicago. But can you really speak about the uh, is it Chicago? Are you sure it's Chicago? Yes, you are. Because the Republicans are in Milwaukee. Echo. This is Milwaukee. It's true. It's true. Yeah, they're very similar. Okay. Bucks. All right, Milwaukee Bucks. <laughs> I used to live here. All right. Mm -hmm. In fact, so they've not chosen yet. Uh, uh, no. This is Milwaukee. That's the Milwaukee Art Museum right there, right on the, this is Lake Michigan. Yeah, it's a beautiful city. So the um, Republican National Convention will take place from July 15th to the 18th, 2024. This is when the party selects their presidential nominee. Once okay. I was in San Diego, yeah. uh, years ago, and in my days in San Diego, summer, there was the there was the Republican Convention. Uh-huh. And the, the nominee was Dory. 
So you oh you saw them up close. You saw the Republican candidates up close. Just another time. Now I don't feel very at That time even worse. I told my lost spouse. What an interesting, interesting experience anyway, right? So the Republican National Convention has a couple of things. First, they select their nominee, but they also adopt a, a platform. They decide what's important for the coming uh, years, what their platform is going to be. Donald, oh, spelling error. Donald Trump is currently the Republican favorite. True or false? Sorry for the spelling error. Yes, of course, it's true. So he hasn't been chosen yet. He's um, not following any of the normal rules like that we normally have. Normally, you would participate in debates, et cetera. He's but he's Trump. still very much favored by much of the Republican base really appreciates him. Um, the institutional kind of Republicans are moving away from him at this yeah, moment. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. The Republican establishment won the one that he gave. Right. Directly. <clears throat> We'll see what happens. Okay, Lampranco has a streak of seven. Domenico's in first. But who knows? She's making her way up there. But she needs her girl power friend, Suzanne. The following are Republican contenders for the nomination. Ron DeSantis, Chris Christie, Nikki Haley, Vivek Rama, Ramaswamy. Multiple choice. And you guys know my trick. It's all of them. Okay. Can I say one thing? Sure. Okay. Uh, not done. about the Santos Christi, Ranch where the trouble or or Trump, but Nikki Haley. Back at Amazon. But now she's really a warmonger. She's a warmonger. A, a, a kind of uh, of Chile or Bush or something else. Do you think so? A warmonger, someone who wants to start wars, who likes war. Let's see. Did you go Vivek for it, um, Domenico? Did you did you fall into my trap? Yeah, again, always. Uh, Lampraco has moved I into never first. Lampraco. Yeah, so look at the difference I... between you. I lost. It's calling and pests you. Uh oh, uh oh, what's going on? Uh, uh, uh. Former Vice President Mike Pence dropped out of the presidential race. True or false? True. And I know it's because you looked at the the <laughs> I tried to give you the answer in the in the in the picture. <laughs> He's gone. And one of the reasons that Pence um dropped out is because a lot of the Republican um base didn't appreciate that he didn't agree with um Trump in saying that the election was stolen. Nikki Haley, oh, my okay, the guy is a warmonger, former governor of South Carolina, frenemy of Donald Trump, former ambassador to the United Nations, child of Indian immigrants. Multiple choice. Multiple choice. I don't know who is who is but you know how I roll. Everybody knows how I roll, right? Yes. It's obvious, right? So yes, Mickey Haley was the former governor of South Carolina. She um, used to work for Donald Trump. So when she was working with Donald Trump, they were besties. They were friends. They were, well, they were friends, and she never publicly said things that she didn't agree with. Um, and in fact, she was frustrating for a lot of the... Um, People who were working with Donald Trump who maybe didn't agree with everything were trying to get him back in line. And every time they would try to get her to help, you know, can you talk to him? And she would tell Donald Trump what everybody was doing. So she was kind of, you know, playing both. As now that she is running against Donald Trump, of course, she's only talking about what he did wrong. So maybe he is like for many seats, not for all that. Okay. So yeah, she just sort of um, but now she's she still agrees with certain things, certain things she doesn't. Okay, she did work as the ambassador of the United Nations on the Security Council, and she is the child of Indian immigrants. Um, 
Indian. Indian from India. Yeah, I wouldn't write, yeah, Indian in, uh, to mean Native Americans. Okay. Uh -huh. Big donors are betting on Nikki Haley against Trump. True or false? We want to be donors. The super PACs. Okay. Right, so the most it's famous um, brothers, what are their names? Do you know their names? Uh, brother Cox. Yep. Cox. Okay. K O C H, the Cox brothers, are um, big, big, big donors who have taken away their endorsement of Trump and have put it on Nikki Haley. Let's hope. They're doing a party with uh, the boosters uh, of the Phoenix. Uh, Not the, well, the Cox, but, uh, but the, yeah, but the but Cox were still very, very much extreme right, though. The the Koch brothers, Koch ah. brothers. And so the fact that they're coming back towards Nikki Haley is interesting. It's, it's something that we'll need to follow here. Okay. My uh -huh. is still in first, Domenico. Oh, Haley, Haley is the. Is uh, her husband surname okay? Now I got it. Randawa of Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley, her uh, husband. Oh, you know, yeah, in America, when you get married, you take your husband's yeah, name. She's Nimrata Hadava. Oh, right, right. Okay. The Democratic Convention will be held in Chicago August 19th to 22nd. True or false? There's Chicago for you. <laughs> Chicago, yes. Yep. Right? Just to look at it. If you hear a long time, you know the answers. You know the answers right away, right? So both Milwaukee and Chicago are on Lake Michigan, and they're about an hour and 15 minutes apart. It's, it was, yeah, right, because they're both, yeah, Wisconsin is Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and Chicago, Illinois are both key states in the next election. Okay. Presidential elections take place in November. If you don't know this one, I can put the picture of the of the vegetables of the yeah. vegetables from November, so you would know. <laughs> you don't know your winter vegetables, Simone. You don't eat vegetables, so well. and you can't vote in the American presidential election. Lafranc is the highest answer streak of thirteen. It's too easy for him. When is the next presidential inauguration? January 20th, 2025, or the Wednesday after the first Tuesday after the first Monday of November? <laughs> okay, got it. It's January 20th. It's usually the 20th. Unless it's a Sunday, it's going to be January 20th. 20th, yeah. Huh? Twenty. Yeah, right. Because remember that the the um they're going to vote in November of two thousand twenty-four, and then in January. But I don't remember that next year was two thousand and twenty-four. Right. So November, the president gets elected. Then they have until January to kind of arrange everything, get their cabinet together, and then. On January twentieth or twenty first, if it's a Sunday, um, then they get to business. Who will be the Republican nominee? <laughs> Donald Trump, Nikki Haley, Chris Christie, Ron DeSantis. <laughs> no, it's your it's your opinion. It's a poll. Uh, it's a poll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is depressing. Wrong. Everybody believes it's going to be Donald yeah. Trump. Yeah. Who will be uh, who will win the presidential election in 2024? Your opinion. Oh yeah, well the last two are just your opinion. Yeah, absolutely. So they don't count for your Lampranco is first, Domenico is second. Yeah. Simone, you're on the podium. Take a screenshot. I pay my compliment to Lampranco. Well done, Lampranco. Domenico, what were you saying? I pay my compliment to Lanfranco. Yeah, compliments to, uh, to I Lanfranco. I vote for half the contest, but then I have to give Lanfranco the first position. Do you, do you accept well these results? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> well Big done. news! Big news! I, I I gotta go, guys. I have to say goodbye. Oh, you have to go now. Thank you. Yeah, I gotta go to the other meeting. Thank you and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye -bye. Thank you. I really enjoy the time. The light so we can see each other again. Maybe there's a light in here. Yeah, Suzanne, we have a bit of break. Simone, can you turn on the light so we can get in? We went fast today. It's very okay. It's okay. So enough. Perfect. All right. But we can only see me. That's always my problem. I should turn it around so you guys can. Better. Perfect. Okay. So. <laughs> Be careful. Oh, I don't have. I was going to show you some links, but I don't have the. My lesson isn't on here. So anyway, but we can talk about. Okay. I don't. I hate that I can see myself here. Blah. But let me just. Maybe I can share my screen. Yes. And I can show you some of the things I was looking at here. Okay, so I want to show you um, candidate two thousand twenty four. So it's been a long day. <laughs> so some of the um, types of links that we look at right now to get information on the candidates, New York Times, of course, um, Ballotpedia is something that came up. I don't even know what it is, but I did get a little bit of information that Reuters is like our, um, just a very generic, it, this is what feeds the news to the different outlets, okay? So uh, Reuters is like your, what do you call yours? You yeah, you have it. Uh, I can't remember what it's called though. Where journalists go and they get the information. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, exactly. It's like the Hansa. Okay, so Reuters is one of the two. The other is called the Associated Press, AP. Okay. Then of course we go down and we'll see like CNN, which of course you all know. Okay. Wikipedia. Axios, which is um, like political or the hill, it's very focused on politics. Okay. But this has who started, you know, that uh, I don't want to subscribe, not today. But if you look at who, you know, who, um, who all the, who was going for, for president, you see that these are all the people who kind of dropped out. And these are the people who have remained, okay? The most famous ones, of course, are Chris Christie, uh, ex-big friend of uh, Donald Trump, uh, DeSantis, Florida governor, who's always, you know, kind of in the news for doing stuff, getting his head. <laughs> so is Chris Christie, Chris Christie also. No, I know, but the survey, the survey was good for an Italian family, no? Sure. Yeah, was good for an Italian family. But he's like Trump, but too more radical. More radical. It's too extreme. Yeah, I think, you know, he's... I think, but he... I'm telling you the vote, no? Trump is smart, he said... Oh, you should say the political way. Right. The scientists, they put the weekly at six, six weeks ban. Yeah. It's too much. Right. Well, the scientists, what he's trying to do, it's not really the law. Right. He's trying to appeal to the evangelicals. Because they don't want to Can't mean the moderate evangelicals. Right. Can't mean. Right. But I also think what DeSantis is doing is like very, what a lot of people do when they want to get a lot of attention before uh, an election, they do very extreme things. We saw this, we see this every time there's a presidential election. There's always someone, last time it was Scott Walker, who just tried to crush the, um, Scott Walker, who was the governor of Wisconsin, who did very similar things to get, yeah, okay, who wanted to get in the news by doing very extreme things. So it's a moment where people do very extreme things. But the difficulty for a DeSantis is um, if you do all those things, you get attention and people know who you are. But then when you have to, you know, to become president, you have to move this way a little bit. You have to come to the center. Um, you might not be complete center, but you can't be all the way over there or all the way over there. Because then you don't have the majority of people voting for you. So, so the typical Italian surname, the Santis. Yeah. 
yesterday in the evening, I watched the uh, Marteria talk show uh -huh. on the Seven uh, Channel, and they <coughs> broadcast a speech of Trump. Mm. I think it was worse than, than even really uh, for his uh, declaration for his. Uh, Eyes and the projects. Yeah. Well, that's what people are saying too, is that his, you know, intentions for the next presidency will be more extreme than the first. So who knows what's gonna happen there. Now the other um, but you'll notice that some of these people you know, like you might have heard of Chris Christie, DeSantis, who's Binkley? Do you have you heard of this person? No. No. He's supposedly a little bit more in this center, but nobody's heard of him. Hutchinson? Maybe Hutchinson's dropped that out. I don't think so, not yet. Still in, but maybe not, you know, we don't know. Ramaswamy, he's, um, he became famous, let's say, during the first debate because he did a lot of talking. Um, he's also a very famous entrepreneur, son of uh, immigrants also, but anti-immigration, as often <laughs> happens, right? And uh is a young Trump. It's a young Trump. Yeah, he's pretty extreme. <laughs> but he doesn't seem to have a lot of um he doesn't seem to be very attractive yeah, to people. Uh, Trump. Uh he in the he in the Santos. Right. So the ones right now are mainly in the ring of Trump, Haley, DeSantis, Christie, a little bit, but not so much, I don't think. Okay. Um, the Democratic one is still Biden, but again, we don't know. He's, you know, um, and then the independents are Kennedy, West, and Stein, and possibly Liz Cheney. Possibly. Kennedy is the part of Joe Fitzgerald. Yes, but completely different politics. Oh, like, completely on the opposite end. He's very um, extreme on the, on the right wing. Extremely, you know, which sucks. And this is Cornel West, who's extreme on the on the left. Uh, in so, my opinion, in my opinion, uh, RFK before was challenging, was primarily was primarily Biden. Was what wanted to challenge Biden. Okay. RFK, you know, not uh -huh. wanted to primarily Biden. Then he said it, it, it is impossible to keep because the party is. Uh, uh, is an uh, is uh, closed, totally closed. Uh -huh. He doesn't accept other kind But he's not a Democrat. But he's not a Democrat no, at all. No, he, I'm not even he has been always in Ukraine. Always he in Ukraine. Oh, yeah. One month ago, two months ago, he was challenging uh, Biden, the Democratic Party. But then I said, this party is, uh, uh, as an arbitrary, is a uh, closed completely. It is mm -hmm. all for Biden. If he comes to fight him, I'm going to be. Yeah, prepared. but I don't know how he would have even tried because his ideas are no, no, totally. His weakness is to deceive the plot everywhere. This is his right. Plot. He's um. He plot, 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 plot everywhere. This is his weakness, not weakness. He sees okay. Plot, plots everywhere, but maybe some man is right about the nozzle. Okay. So, uh, Holding a diverse mix of traditionally liberal, conservative, and libertarian views, in addition to his conspiracy theories, Penny has received significant support from independents, youth, and those with low trust in mainstream American politics. Uh, what about his conspiracy theories? What? Uh, I don't know. Which, should we look? Which ones? For example, the vaccine. Oh, he's a no vaxxer? No vaxxer, totally. Not totally. Then he said that uh, his uncle was assassinated by the, by the CIA and so on. Uh -huh. His uncle, JFD. But uh, it is going way difficult to. to I know where the falls is. I, I, don't, I don't believe it. Then he said, maybe he's right, that there was another shooter when his father was killed. Mm. There was a child in front of him, another one in the back. <laughs> He's and not the son, no. And no. he said the name of the second shooter mm. who died three years ago, three years ago in Philippines, no? Okay. This would be true, but uh, you know. Yeah. So vaccines, <laughs> gender dysphoria and chemical exposure, antidepressants in school shootings. No, uh, 
What? Conspiracy theory that the CIA assassinated his uncle. Republicans stole the 2004 presidential election. Yeah, I think that there is another one first for the for of the second. No, 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 yes, but yes, it was uh, the the matter of Chicago. <laughs> And the I'm speaking about the father, the father, the father. I speak about the father, Bobby, Bobby Kennedy. Okay. Bobby is the father, the son of Eric King. Ah, Bobby Jr. is the the brother, the son of Bobby, the who stayed in the in the hotel, in the hotel. Yeah. Ah, okay. He no. said that he said he said the name of the second shooter, who no, no, no. died, died three years ago in Philippines. Yeah, I don't know. Because he was a former police uh, policeman of uh, CIA, uh, policeman of uh, of uh, Los Angeles, but could be true. But anyway, Sharon was a student. Yeah. Uh, was he shot? But he saw he, he, he see everywhere this is his problem that he sees everywhere blood. Mm -hmm. Right. Much. So interesting that Cornell West is uh I didn't know he was um he was a candidate. He's a professor, a famous um professor of philosophy, actually. Um so that's kind of interesting. Stein, I don't know who she is. Maybe it's Jill Stein, is that her name? Jill. Don't know who Phillips is, don't know who these people are. Apparently, this name looks familiar that maybe he could be a contender. But, huh? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure. So, anyway, these are the, the candidates that we have. So, these are the kinds of places we're looking. Uh, yeah. So, is the person under the Republican candidates, the vice president? The no, the, the, the people who drop it up. People who dropped out. This is the vice president. This is um, Pence, who was the vice president under Trump. Uh, They're in black and white because they dropped out of the race because they had so little support that it doesn't make sense to continue. So now there have been four people who are approved to go to the next debate. And those are Trump. Uh, Trump won't be there, but Haley, DeSantis. And uh, Christy, I think Ramaswamy is not Ram in that group. Yes, yes. Is he in it? Maybe yes. That I do know. These guys know. But I repeat again, no? <laughs> you know, was not a, 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 a terrible candidate for the Democrats. And also, in that he was <laughs> not, uh, he, he, he is not uh, uh, conservative or so. He is a uh, uh, progressive in the way of. Of the, of the Democrats, of the Democrats of the 60s, 70s. Yeah, I think he's. Uh, yeah, I think he's considered crazy by a lot of people. This yes. is like popular when you talk about it. He's crazy. You see, you see, say that we're the plus one time is okay. The same, the third, fourth, not that way. Right. So that to me tells me probably wasn't the great right candidate. Not yeah. Not well, because that's all you need to do because. I think because people are so tired of um, of conspiracy theories, you know, there are a lot of people who fall into them. But when you have, you know, four years of one after the other, you know, um, I think people have a certain fatigue, and I think that's why Biden sort of came up and is like, okay, someone who's who's gonna like it was this vor, you know, vortex of just like craziness for four years. But um, anyway. I was going to go back and look too. I was going to go back with you just to take a little walk down memory lane. I wanted to show you. I didn't do it for our things, but I thought we could look at it anyway. Um, this is our, I was going to look at the different things we did. If we had, I'm going to go, these are all the cahoots that we did, right? So this was the one on US elections. But if I stop this, where are my other ones? We don't want to buy anything right now. Instead, I was going to look at the different ones that we did so we could take a look at them. So we did voting in America. We did American political cartoons. We did the American legal system. We did how to become a US president. We did Supreme Court cases. We did American presidents who changed the world and we forgot to talk about Eisenhower. <laughs> we talked about the U.S. Constitution. 
And that's it. So we did, those were our main ones, Constitution, President, Supreme Court, U.S. President, American Legal System, Political Cartoons. We did a lot of um, the American, you know, just to look at, look back. Yeah. I think we've, is there anything we didn't cover? What didn't we cover? I feel like we're, we did an exhaustive, superficial, albeit superficial, of course, but what else should we have talked about? Last, we did, last year, we spoke about the Indian Americans, so we spoke about... Uh, the, last year was a different situation. The last yeah. year, we had a mayor, yeah. Do you remember last year? you remember about the Native Americans? You, you brought up when we talked about money. Do you remember the other ones? Uh, musicals. Musicals, my favorite one. one. About the political buzzword. Yes. We did. Are you a Democrat or Republican? Yes. Yep. This was this year. Yeah. Last year we did Italy in American literature. Last year, last year. Yeah. We did Frank Lloyd Wright. Yeah. We did American Road Trip, the Harlem Renaissance, American Money, Money, Money. That's the one you remember. Yes. <laughs> did we do American slang, American um, musicals? And I think that was it. These are just other ones. Delicious the whole Yeah, that was the one about my husband. <laughs> for his birthday, I did a Kahoot for him. So we did talk about a few things about it. So the idea was to do American culture. Last year, it was more varied. We did different subjects. This year, we concentrated on the legal and the you know political system. But I think in the future, we probably want to do something more varied again, I'm imagining. What do you think? Is there something I'd like to talk about? There is a site in a, in a Facebook, owned, I think, by the American Embassy, no? uh -huh. that speaks about the culture. culture. Yes, there was an article, an entry about uh, uh, Gordon Vidal. No? Uh -huh. It was a lot of people with it. Sure, that. of course. It was the cousin of, of our world. I go, but I go. They were oh, really? solutions. They no. were solutions. No? And uh, uh, the one week ago, there was this book about the uh, anyway, about, sure, the, the, about the, 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 the new the dynamic museum, but some of the graph. Oh, yeah, sure. It's a very, very nice museum. No? Yeah, I wonder if, um, did we never talk about Hemingway together? Yeah, but yeah, but we didn't do that before. Okay. Right, also in Chividale, which is, yeah, maybe, because I, I love to talk about Hemingway, but I love to read him, so if we do him, I'll, I'll send you a story, and we'll talk about it afterwards. A short story by Hemingway is always fun to do. Yeah, heavy drinker. Very heavy drinker. In fact, it was well, in it, uh, well, he, you know, he had, he was a complex guy, you know, he came back from the war, was never the same. I think he had chronic pain. He wasn't very the war. He was a volunteer. He was wounded. He was a volunteer. He was an ambulance driver. He volunteered. He volunteered. Yeah, it's true. But he was also, um, I think he got. He was heavy injured and also was heavy He was, he was injured. It's true. And then, but he, um, you can visit his house in, well, you can visit all of his houses, but he has a house in Key West, Florida, which is, you know, and where he had this special cat, this is, has nothing to do with politics, but I find it interesting. He, um, someone gave him a cat because he loved cats because I think a lot of writers like cats. That was a, that was a lesson a couple of years ago, writers and their cats. Because writers love cats because they're independent, yes. but they're always present, you know. So writing is a lonely job. So sometimes you'll find that if you just do a Google for writers and their cats, you'll see how many writers, you know, there's like the cat around the neck, the cat on the computer, the cat. And someone gave Ernest Hemingway a cat that was one of those cats that has like five fingers instead of the four plus the thumb. It's got six. Yeah, it's really strange. And so it looks like it has a hand, basically. So this special cat has lots of, now there's something like 100 or 200 cats that live on the property of Ernest Hemingway. And Ernest Hemingway used to name his cats after the celebrity that they look like. So if they look like Charlie Chaplin, there was like Charlie Chaplin. And they still continue that um that tradition today. So there are all these cats on the grounds that have like to walk on hands. It's crazy. In fact, I can even look it up for you. You're gonna have to see it. Um, and when you paid to go visit his house, all of the money went to cat food. But then Purina started to donate. So if I put Ernest Hemingway, 
Um, Cats, Key West. See what comes up. Um, I want to see that cats. Let's see images. Ah, there's one. That's a famous picture. Look at the cat. It looks like he has little hands. <laughs> looks like, but this is um, this is the room in Key West where he used to do his typing, and this cat's there. But um, yeah, the six-toed cats. There he is with this cat. Look at it. Looks like he's got a mitten on. It isn't it crazy. Now, if you do. So you do it just a Google for writers and their cats. Look at how many writers come up. <laughs> like Ernest Hemingway always comes up, but like uh, I think it's Doris Lessing. <laughs> oh, that's Truman Capote, yeah. Famous cat lover. But if you are if you are not crazy, you can't you can't write. <laughs> right, exactly. You have to be a little bit, but look, I love seeing all the, you know, the cats in there. Even Marlon Brando. It's not a writer, mm -hmm. but more than dogs. Uh, well, let me try that. Writers and their dogs. Well, let's see. No, no, because uh, I don't know. I, I, well, I guess there are a lot of dogs too. Look at there's Stephen King. But you know, dogs have to get up and take them out. So see, cats come up even on the dog page. And look at Ernest Hemingway even had a dog. Dogs <laughs> with the same sweater. I don't know. I don't know about that. Ah, then had 20, 20, 25 uh, greyhounds. Really, greyhounds. Well, I still feel like a dog is a different kind of company for, uh, yeah. you know, for uh, for a writer because, well, maybe it's a good excuse to get out of the house, though. You know, if you have to take your, if you have to take your um, dog out for a, a walk or something. I love that writers and their cats, my favorite. So anyway. I'm glad that we came together one last time. Good to be together. Well, to see what the future brings, right, Simone? We'll see what the future next brings. Time, next, next year, next course. Next year, next course. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Do we have any ideas for the future, Simone? Uh, I come back in Florence with my daughters. You're going to go to Florence for the. So, for the holiday. You're gonna, that's what you're doing for Christmas. I bring the uh, her, uh, grandparents. Grandparents. Uh -huh. uh, and then when you, uh, yeah, grandchildren. Uh -huh. When do you come back to work? Uh, no, we are closer to the uh, uh, end of January. Oh, okay, so you're going to skew these off. Perfect. I am disappointed. About this course. Of course, you are. There are two different people. Two different people. Two different people. Yeah. Two. There are no people from France. Why do you think that is? What do you think? What's the situation? Why do you think there are people from Bolsano? Bolsano is a city where people like to make sports. Uh, to go ice skating, to skiing, me too. Sure. But they are, in my opinion, a lot oriented to practical things. Okay. Practical stuff. So English is not. And then uh, the, the knowledge of English is not at you know, the same level like in the or so. So we are very much. I think, I, think that, I don't know, Liliana, but I think it's a little bit uh, difficult. Sure, maybe the yeah. level's too high. You, you, you have to understand that you yeah. mm. ah. know too much, but uh, maybe um, I remember uh, a year ago, maybe more than a year ago, there were uh, a couple of uh, teachers, mm. for example, they could, uh, of course, but for people, the people who attend uh, our course, uh, <laughs> Dino came, uh, Rudy came last time, but uh, they. Uh, it was too difficult for them? Be, uh, it's too difficult. Okay. To, uh, 
So it may be also the format because we did games and maybe that was too intense. Maybe to prefer something a little bit more lecture like probably. Uh, but in a show for sure, in Fiesta, the temperature of the English is a lot higher than Bolzano. Bolzano people study a lot of German. I don't want to speak German because German is difficult. Okay. And it's, I mean, a little time to salute it to study English, no? Okay. I, I have, I study English alone. It is a fuel of my bad experience, but not That's about that, you know. Sure. It, but they have a lot. But you're alone. But the people who speak English, no? Okay, I'm going to turn this off then. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. See you next year. Bye. Happy New Year.